Hey, wanted to do a quick video here on how I like to tune the bass. Uh, it's very important, often overlooked, and it can be a valuable, well, it's the first thing we do whenever we practice, for starters, and it could be just a time where we actually develop our ears and um, improve our musicianship overall. Um, so the first thing I would say is I don't like to use any technology um, or anything like that because that takes the onus off of our own ears and it pre prevents us from learning what it really sounds like when our bass is in tune. And as any of you know who have done a live gig, this is an instrument that goes out of tune all the time and we're going to have to be adjusting it uh, constantly on the gig because of the lights, because of the heat of our hands. So we really need to be good at tuning the bass so that in the moment uh, we could be constantly fixing it and keeping it in tune. So first thing you're going to need, um, old school you may have seen one of these, A440 tuning fork. Um, originally got this from my teachers, Ben Wolf, Ron Carter. Uh, they kind of swear by this method and um, I couldn't agree more. So you bang it on your knee, put it on the bass and you hear that A. And we just match the open A. Um, and then I like to begin, we begin to start tuning and just by hearing the fundamentals and the in interval of that fourth, and we want to start learning to hear how that fourth sounds between each string. So first we'll do the A to the D. Don't hit it too hard, just need to touch it nice and lightly. Often you'll see uh, me, if you see me doing this, it's because uh, sometimes when you're loosening the string, making it lower, um, it doesn't sound like it really moves and that may be because it's um, kind of bunching up, getting stuck at the nut a little bit if it's not sliding smoothly, but often if you give it a, a little tug, that'll pull it into position. Do the G. This is the hardest one, the A to the E, because it's just so low. So that may um, seem very difficult, especially at first, even for me, uh, to hear those fours perfectly is a bit of a challenge. Um, but that's the goal, is to be able to hear that perfectly. But now what I like to do um, is I grab the bow, and I'll double check uh, how I did using the harmonics. Um, so first finger on the A, harmonic here fourth finger on the A harmonic on the D string and play one, each of those. As you can see, that's pretty in tune. So now I'm going to go from the D to the G. G's gone flat. I don't think it was quite that flat. So one thing that we'll notice is that often uh, you may have a string completely in tune, but then by the time you finished tuning the bass, it's already gone out of tune, and that's because when you tune one string, it changes the attention of all of them. So especially if one of your strings is very out of tune and you have to crank it a lot, the other strings are almost certainly going to go out of tune because of that change in tension. So you'll have to go over um, two or three times, even more sometimes, until it finally starts settling um, all of the strings. So, and that's go to A to the E. So fourth finger for the A. All right, I'm satisfied with that. So now what I like to do, let's go over it again and hear those fourths and just get into our ears exactly what it sounds like when it's perfectly in tune. So now you can play these harmonics pits too. I will do on a gig because I often don't want to pull out the bow, but um, they don't sustain as well and it's not quite as easy to tell. Um, so I highly recommend using the bow when we're really wanting to hear um, exact intonation. It's much easier to hear with the sustain and the clarity of the bow. Um, all right, so that's what I would consider to be a professional way to tune the bass. It's training our ear. Uh, it's getting us faster and better at tuning in the moment, which is what we'll have to do all the time as professional musicians on a gig. Um, so I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, any questions, shoot me a message or a comment. Um, 
and I'll see you in another video.